Hello, Media Arts 1, 2, and Independent Studies students. So this video is going to be covering week four, so September 28th through October 1st. And that's going to be covering the activities that we did on Wednesdays and Thursday for both group A and group B days. All right, so before we begin, you're going to need your sketchbooks, and we are going to be working on the top half of the sketchbook. It's your call if you want to use the top half or the bottom half. The drawing that you're going to be creating is going to be half the size of the paper in your sketchbook. In addition to that, you need to grab a couple of things. You need to grab your blending stems, also known as tortolans, and also your graphite pencil drawing kit. The three pencils that you're going to be using in this particular exercise is going to be the 4B pencil, the HB, whoops, HB pencil, and the 2H pencil. So again, you are going to grab the 4B pencil, the HB pencil, and the 2H pencil. All right, so when you are working um, with the activity today, you, I want you to get into the habit of picking up and putting down a variety of different pencils to see how the graphite levels in the pencil differ from then using straight pressure. We have learned this week that pressure directly influences either how light or how dark your graphite is. If you use the same pressure with these graphite drawing pencils, then the graphite level levels darkness will be different. All right, so let's begin. So the one thing that I've had, had students do is learn the artistic behavior of artists observe. So creatives, either they'd be an actual artist or someone that actually spends a lot of time thinking about something and then creating another thing. Creatives have the ability to observe and watch the word, world around them and then make something that is a reflection of that or something that betters the world around them. So the artistic behavior that we are focusing on is artists observe. So we've been learning and reviewing how to work with shading with all the drawing techniques and how that, how light and dark shadows form objects. So we are going to be looking at a still life and we are going to draw that still life. A still life is an intentional arrangement of objects, generally when an artist is wanting to better their drawing or painting skills. So we've been practicing shading, so we are going to try and apply our current understanding of shading to the still life. You're going to draw this still life setup for 13 minutes. But before I show you the still life, I want you to get a understand a couple things. I want you to pay attention to how it looks and how it sits on the paper. I also am going to have you guys further focus and develop your understanding of the drawing techniques. So when we I flip and show you the still life, you're going to notice that there are three objects. The thing I only want you to focus on are the three single objects. Ignore the walls in and around the objects, so just the three objects. So each object is gonna be one specific drawing technique. I have shown and had you guys review four out of the five drawing techniques. So those drawing techniques are hatching, cross hatching, scrambling, rendering or smooth shading, and stippling. I have not shown you how to do stippling, but you kind of already know what it looks like. Okay, so out of those three objects, each individual one is gonna be one different drawing technique. So a total of three drawing techniques in your sketchbook. So one thing I also want you to remember is the stepped value scale. This, this week and part of last week, I had you focus on a three stepped value scale. So we know that the seven is gonna be the three, the four is going to be the two, and the one is gonna be the two. But the one thing that is different about this activity is this, once it flips, is that you these renderings are gonna be wanting four stepped value scales. So four is going to be, the seven is going to be the four, the three is going to be a combination of a five and a six, the three is going to be a, a four, and the two is going to be either a combination of two and a three, and the one is going to be a one, okay? So in addition to that, your rendering needs to have the following. It needs to have a light source where it, it's obviously going to be where the light is coming from, a cast shadow, the shadow that is under or behind the objects. The highlight is where kind of reflection of the light source. The midtone is your middle value, and the shadow is going to be your darkest value that isn't the cast shadow. Okay, so I'm going to be showing you a still life, and I want you to draw that for 13 minutes. When, so that means I want you to stop this video, like, or pause it, draw for 13 minutes with a still life, and then hit pause again. Okay, so I'm going to show you 